Hey guys, I'm Aussie Games here and once again welcome back to another episode of Need for Speed No Limits. So there's finally a new special event and it's the Extreme Racing Championship and the reward is a Ford Mustang Unicorn. So yeah, let's see how this goes. Let's see what this is about. New loaned car. We don't need to see all those things. Let's just skip that. That's why we should get that Frankenstein monster block after we win the X-Ray Racing Championship. Yeah, not gonna happen. To tame the Hunicorn, you gotta have more than heart. You've got to have restraint. A good driver is calm, collected and in control. Your crew are rabbit dogs snapping at anything modified. Rabbit dogs? If that's what you think, I'll show you just how nasty we can be. See, that's it. You don't defend your craft. You just lash out. You're not going to win the XRC like that. I specifically chose my driver here for their coverage of street and street racing. They understand balance. Yeah, we do. Alright, so there are five chapters, of course, because there are five days. And it's only five events with the first chapter. And ten gold bars is the reward. So yeah, let's try and make it possible in one go. 484 start in PR for a car is not that bad. It's quite good. So let's see how this goes. You ready for this? The XRC is a merger of underground and series. Think street racing with pro tapping. The deal is you drive in my sponsored Hunicon. You win, XRC gets their poster child, and you get the car. And armed with the Hunicon, you'll have no problem. So XRC have pulled out all the stops. Literally, I mean, it's no gym behind a bit. Barricades are tricky. Alright. I'm still not well, guys. I'm still having a cold, and that's why my sound. That's why I sound a bit weird. My sound is a bit deep, I guess. So, yeah, excuse me for that. Let's see how this goes. I'm supposed to avoid that because otherwise my car is getting damaged. Let's go, come on. It's pretty easy. It's not that tricky at all. You just have to avoid some roadblocks, that's pretty much it. And we've got 1.1 grand. Nice! It's good to see you drive in person. Hopefully we can build something here. Sure we can, we definitely can. A common reward, a prototype flywheel. I'm not gonna, again, I'm not gonna say prototype, a flywheel. Cause all the parts that we are gonna get in this special event are gonna be prototypes. So there's no point saying prototype every time. The XRC is a new competition. Basically, you earn points for beating other races. The most points win. Alright, seems fair, but it sounds like a tournament though. But this is not an online, like I'm not playing against other players, so... How can you judge it based on points? That sounds a bit weird. Actually, awkward. I'm confused. Nah, it's. I think it's just like any other special event. You just have to keep racing, and at the end, you get the car if you are able to complete it within time. So, yeah, let's hope we can get it. And hopefully, EA doesn't just delete my progress for no reason. 2.3 grand, nice. As I've said, when you win, you get your sponsor's anti, in this case, the Hunicon. Makes sense? Yep, it does. Definitely makes sense. And we get a thermal sensor. Alright. On to the next race. Come on. Event 3. Oh, it's medium now. So I think after this race, I might just go ahead and upgrade my car a bit. Yeah, I'm gonna cause the best guy in this has 498 PR. 
Under XRC rules, you earn credits by winning races and you spend them on your sponsored parts. So unfortunately, and pans off for this one. But I'm sure you'll do just fine without me. You know it. Hoonigan to the rescue. Swing past the XRC market when you have a chance to tune up. Ah, that's when. That's why I noticed. Like, there's no loading dogs. Like, uh, before this. With the Razer event, there was a loading dog for the special event. And even with the Snoop Dogg event, there was a special loading dog system. But I've noticed this event does not have a loading dog system. Like no free crates. And I can't even buy crates. So that's gonna make it a bit difficult to get parts and upgrade the car. Hopefully I get better rewards with the further races though. And there we go, and the race in the bag. Alright, 1.3 grand. You're killing these official races, but you're going to have to do some tricky stuff to get extra credits. Yeah, I know, I need to drift more. And I'm gonna try and avoid all the roadblocks so I get that extra 50 cash or dollars. Dollar, dollar. We have 4.9 grand now, okay, I have one of those, I have only one of those, I thought I had two. And I've got one of these, and the last one is a thermal sensor, alright. There we go. Let's go ahead and check out the XSC market. What am I doing? Oh god, what am I doing? Alright, XSC market. I can actually buy all of these if I want to, like I've got the gold bars but I'm not gonna. Cause that'd be an unfair advantage on my part. Cause I just got it as a gift from the support team and that would... That might be cheating, you know. If I do have to use it at the end, I might but I'm gonna try and not use it for now. Because I just don't want to have that unfair advantage. So yeah. Let's go ahead and get into the next race. Hopefully I manage to get 495 PR. Otherwise I won't be able to do the next race without doing some races again and get in the performance parts. Looks like they got a head start on you. Not to worry, the Hunicorn will make short work of the distance. What do you mean they got a head start on me? It's a hunter race. Obviously they have a head start. I need to catch up to them and then beat them. But it's gonna be easy for me. I'm very skilled at that. Yeah. I know I sound a bit boastful but I am. Yeah let's keep that drift going. Come on come on. Yeah one grand. Nice. 1.2 grand, 1.4 grand from drifting, amazing, that's great, and I guess that's it. 1.4 grand from drifting, nice, 1.6 grand in total. See, no competition. Obviously, I told you I'm gonna catch up very easily. And we get another flywheel. So I think if I upgrade that, I should get at least up to 493 PR. Come on. 494, come on, at least. Damn, nice, 495. Let's rebuild that and... We have 497, great, that means we can continue. Alright guys, final race of the first chapter. Okay, I'm up against 503 and 517. Seems the Flaming Skulls are working their way through the ranks. I heard they're all on the field all across the city. Everyone except Ivy, that is. That's right, you can't beat all of us. Hell, I bet you can't beat any of us. Let's see what you got. Actually, I'm gonna beat all of you. Not just one of you, I'm gonna be all of you. 
so you better watch out now. Nail those jumps. That I'm gonna. That I'm definitely gonna. I'm very much familiar with this track. I know which jump is gonna come up and when. Actually, I'm not that familiar, but I know this one place where three jumps come together at a time. Like one by one. So, yeah, it's right after this upcoming turn. On the left side. There we go. Three jumps. And here's where I take the lead. Great. Let's go. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, guys. Only a little bit more to go. Alright, I'm gonna say we've won this. We've definitely won this. Got that jump. Nice. Airtime credits. Boom. And the race in the bag. 3.1 grand, which is amazing. You make it look easy bonding around the track like that. But you better take it easy for now. Keep them guessing, you know. I'll see you tomorrow. Alright. So the guy's name is Ken Block. I think I've seen him somewhere, but I'm not sure where. I might have seen him somewhere. Let's see what we get in chapter rewards. Chapter complete. Ooh, two rewards. Nice, five blueprints and ten gold bars. Great. Oh, that 10 gold bars was assured. Alright. Alright guys, so that's gonna be it for this video. Thanks for watching, and until next time, see ya!